Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to turn any block that you created in Electric Quilt into an SVG file. Now the advantage, of course, of having an SVG file is that you can use them with a variety of cutting machines. So I have created a new project and I'm going to start by doing a search for block patterns, which is going to open the library. I'm going to select Contemporary Applique and select Season Summer. And I decided to select this sun hat. And I will select Edit to Block Work Table. Now, the first thing is, is if you are doing your own blocks, color them only using colors, not fabrics. Once your block is colored, go to Print and Export and select Export Image. And I'm going to navigate to My EQ8 Images and I'm going to call this uh, Sun Hat number one. And I will save it as a ping or a JPEG, but I can select Save. And for the size, I'm going to go ahead and make it a 6x6. Six six. For resolution, I'm going to make it 300, but for under Options, I want to t turn off Outline Patches and Outline Blocks and select OK. Now I'm going to go to the Draw tab, and I will select the Applique tab. And with the Pick tool, I am going to break apart all of the pieces. And so I just want to have some space between them. Then I'm going to go to the Color tab, and it saved all my coloring, which is great. And so I'm going to go to Print and Export, do an export image, and I'm going to call this one Sun Hat 2. And I'm going to select Save. And I'm going to use the same size for this one, 6x6. Six six. Make sure that Options are turned off, and I have Resolution set at 300, and I will select OK. Now I have opened Inkscape. And Inkscape is a vector-based editing program. And it is freeware, and there are versions available for both a Mac and a PC. So it is very usable with the files that we just created in Electric Quilt. So I will select File, Open, and I will navigate to My EQ8 Images, and I'll just select today's date so I can quickly find these. And I'm going to select Sun Hat number 1 and select Open. And there's no need to do anything in the dialog box. Just select OK. Select the image with the Select tool. And then from the Menu toolbar, select Path, followed by Trace from Bitmap. In the dialog box, I want to select the multiple scans create a group of paths. Select colors, and for the number of scans, count the number of fabrics and add one. So there are five fabrics and a background, which would be a total of six. So I'm going to do six scans. And in the check boxes at the bottom, we're going to turn off Smooth Stack Scans, and we're going to click on Remove Background. And I will select OK. And you can see the image in preview. And so I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Now my traced images are on top of the original image that I imported. So I'm going to move those out of the way and click on the uh, image that I input, and I'm just going to change from pixels to inches just to confirm that this is six inches. And now I will move that image out of the way, and I will move my traced images in place. From the menu toolbar, select Object, and then select Ungroup. 
and you can see that there are now dotted lines around each of the traced images. And you can move each of those, pos those images. Now I will use the selection tool and I will resize that original image just so I have a very small um, picture and I will place that on the work table. And I will do a file save as and I can now save it as an SVG file. And so I just need to select save. Now let's assume we don't want to have the cutouts in these two shapes and we want to just use the actual drawn images in Electric Quilt. I will do another file open and I will select the Sun Hat 2 and select open, select OK. With the Select tool, select the image, select Path, Trace Bitmap, and change the number of scans to 5. Click on Colors, turn off Smooth and Stack Scans, and turn on Remove Background, and select OK. You should see it, everything in your preview window, and so I will select OK and I can close the dialog box. Now I'm going to move the new items away. For the original image, um, I'm just going to go ahead and select that and delete it. And now I can take these items and under Object, select Ungroup, and they can operate independently, and so you can uh, play with placement if you need to, and I can do a file save as, and we're going to do that as a Sun Hat 2 SVG file and select save. Thanks so much for watching. Next time you need to create your own files for cutting on the cutting machine of your choice, know that you can convert from Electric Quilt to an SVG file. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.